The trader legacy boon is called Favors. It provides 4,000 influence after you settle your first base and a visit from a friendly trader. This trader usually has rucksacks that can help you kickstart off your base. Having this boon active is good when your community wants a boost every time they get to a new map. Before we get into the quest, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more State of Decay 2 content. And if you have any tips or strategies of your own, please share them in the comments below. Remember, we all started somewhere. Alright, let's get to getting on with the quests. All four leadership traits have a new beginning as the starter to legacy mission. The number of folks that you need to talk to will depend on the number of folks that you have in your community, but will typically range anywhere from one to five. Just go around and talk to however many you're supposed to talk to. Your interaction or your answer does not matter, and you'll know which selection is out of place and the one you should click on. Once you've talked to the required number, the mission is complete. The next mission, and first specific to the trader line, is the broker. It starts with a call out over the radio from your community asking if anyone is up for some trading. After the call is answered, you'll need to travel to three separate enclaves and essentially form a trade triangle. Once you've talked to the last one, the mission is complete. You finish the mission with telling everyone that you should put together a trade summit to really get the party started. Hey there. Yo, that went really well. We should put together a trade summit to really get supply lines going. The next mission is called Greed. In this mission, somebody claims to have bad news about one of the trade partners. One of the enclaves contacts you over the radio. You go talk to them about whatever issues they have, and they tell you that there's a threat of one of the enclaves trying to ambush the summit. You can either thank them for the warning and try and talk some sense into your partners, or attack them before they have a chance to ruin the summit. If you try talking to them, you'll basically have two options, kill or help. If you confront them about the ambush, they will turn hostile. If you reassure them that they don't need to steal from no one, they'll tell you that they're really low and desperate on fuel. So you can either go get them a rucksack of fuel, or have one already knowing that that's what they're going to want, and give it to them. The mission is completed if you either give them the rucksack of fuel, or you eliminate the enclave. That brings us to our trader finale, the summit. Your leader thinks it's time to kick off the trade summit. All right, is everybody ready to get this trade summit started? Here you will also need a throwaway car because your mission will end away from the base. You contact all parties involved and tell them to meet at a neutral location that you picked out. Excellent, I got a great neutral location picked out. Meet y'all there. As you're getting close to the location, the game prompts you with the point of no return and you ain't coming back notice, letting you know that completing the mission will end your leader's legacy. After you arrive and talk with one of the attendees, you get ambushed by three attackers. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun with this place! You must debrief with one of your partners after you defeat the attackers. The next round doesn't start until after you debrief. So now's a good time to go ahead and loot the bodies. The noise brings in a wave of zombies, or essentially a three minute siege. Surviving the siege and clearing the location of Zeds completes the mission and the game. So make sure that whatever looting you're gonna do, you get it done before you do the final debrief. Once you debrief with them, the mission ends and it fades to the ending cutscene. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.